after a long day's work of laughing with your friends, revising, and trying not to get caught chewing gum, what's the one thing you would think of? For me, it's food. So, after school, I head straight to my local co-op and straight down that bakery aisle, as I should for those delicious croissants. But on this one day, it was different. I suddenly became so self-conscious of my body. I felt like all eyes were on me. I felt that three-letter word take a plunge into my brain. F-A- Fact. Now, I had to evoke this word from my vocabulary because it had a lot of negative connotations to it. It was thrown around so loosely in society, but it had the deepest of meanings and could open so many wounds. I can say proudly, I am a big girl. But when I was younger, I had lots of problems and issues accepting my body. And my mother would constantly remind me that Luba, you're not fat, you're just blessed in areas others aren't. <laughs> Does anyone know what the highest form of discrimination is within Britain? Well, 62% of Brits believe that obesity is the highest form of discrimination. Higher than gender, higher than sexual orientation and ethnicity. But it wasn't just the stats or the stares that would get to me the most. It was the meaningless comments. It's the, wow, you're so big for a 10 year old. What size are you now, size 18? Oh my gosh. Let me paint the picture. You're at a party, you've got your best dress on, you know, you've got the hair, got the makeup, everything's done to perfection. And you get that one person come up to you. Wow, you're like 10 and you're eating such a big portion like this. I remember not touching my plate at a party, not even one crumb. It was because of comments like these that I thought I had to lose weight all my life until I had to stop because I realized I'm more than my size. I'm smart, I'm strong, I'm independent, I'm, independent, I'm vibrant, and like Lady Gaga said, I was born this way. <laughs> and with all the qualities that I've listed on this stage today, and many more, I will conquer the world we live in today this way.